Joe's 2025 programming roadmap in the world of AI, going beyond Copilot and Agent, what are people are making all kinds of proposals and I'm going to counter these in uh, three short videos. And why are they three short videos? Because that's what fits in YouTube shorts. First topic here is direct to binary. This notion that we are going to move away from any kind of programming language and move to a direct to binary model for you create a spec and out you get as a running program. And um, that might be possible in a couple of years. I'm going to argue it might not even be a good idea, right? The same reason that we generate instrumentation, um, we do breakpoints, we do kinds of all other things. Um, when something doesn't work, you're going to really wonder what the heck's happening if you can't see anything. I'm going to start at the beginning of the process a little bit. LLMs are not item potent. What that means is more than if you give the same prompt multiple times, you get different responses. That's awesome when trying not to look like a bot. It is kind of lousy when trying to build repeatable code that behaves the same way with the same defects, same security risk, same anything, same compliance, right? If it gives a different answer, you can break any of those things. And I just, there are people out there saying, uh, we just regenerate all the code every time from props. And I feel like, do they write software? Do they debug software? Um, and I'll tell you, version diffs matter. When we put a new version out, I need to understand what's different and that sometimes the tests pass the same and it turns out it behaves differently. Well, how do I know if I can't see anything? So there need to be some intermediate spec. Maybe it's not programming language, it's something else. Um, and I'll argue that BDD is a shallow spec. It's actually a functional programming spec and therefore you can't decide what's happening under the hood. Um, and if we want to do this, we're going to, you're still going to end up having to come up with some kind of infrastructure. Maybe it's, um, something built by AI, but it basically, you would need a way to be able to do all of the clear glass box testing and the opaque box testing that you do, uh, today, uh, you wouldn't know what the functions were inside, but you'd need to know whether security is implemented, whether, uh, retry behaviors are implemented the way you expect. Do they behave the way you expect? Uh, a lot of times you were talking about a lot of specifications to make something work in the way we do today, or at least understand how it should be working. Um, I'll tell you that arbitrary text is not a requirement. Anybody that's ever converted arbitrary text into requirements. Um, you can create us your own DSL for requirements and convert it maybe. And then uh, the last thing for me is the platform portable or not. We have the, all these assembly issues for when you're trying to create something and you glue together different parts of an application to go together in the different tiers. What's it going to run on? Is it a phone? Is it going to, you know, maybe the JVM guys will get the last laugh, right? If everything was a virtual machine, uh, maybe that gives you what you want. For me, these are the reasons I don't think we're ready for direct to binary.